Like me and Kuz went out, right? He looks like he could have a, a slice of pizza. I could have about four slices. We're going to split the check. Right, right. <laughs> That's the way it works. <laughs> Make sure to hop on over to medicadomani.com for exclusive giveaways, newsletters, and news for all things Italian American. Front and center over here. Fucking you and Joe are the stars of the show today. We are here. Doing a little different today. It was nice to have my friend Joe Gambino show up today. It was nice for you to invite me back again. After, you know, Joe hit it and quit it, basically. <laughs> I hit it and quit it. Yeah, these guys, they call me, and then in the six months, I didn't hear from them. I had to, I had to make an insult Video for them to call me back. <laughs> I am right here. You got our attention, though. I'm glad I did. I don't know. I, I was questioning if you actually mad at us. No. You weren't, right? How, how can I be mad at you guys? You guys, look at your face. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. You guys No, I'm not mad. Actually, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Uh, this thing started already, right? Yeah, we're, we're, we're rolling. We're, right? we're, we're rolling. Okay. We're out here. Well, Show's I want to start off like this. I wanna, I'm happy you guys had me back on here. And I don't know if the... Uh, your fans or whatever know that Rocco just got married and yeah. I wasn't invited to the wedding. <laughs> oh, which God. I totally understand. Listen, we just met, we're friends, whatever, but you know, I, I understand. For this. But the you way wanna... it sounded, you might be invited to the baby uh, baptism. I don't know. You know I mean, listen, listen <laughs> I understand that, you know, Rocco keeps going, you know? Yeah, he just <laughs> met me. He didn't want, you know, overstep his boundaries and I would give you a boost, but I wasn't invited to the wedding. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to give you a boost, right? First, because I wasn't invited. But then again, <laughs> I'm not going to get it back. Now, I'm going to explain to you what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I if I that. give you a boost now, I I'm, I'm 40 years old, like an eight-year-old. I ain't going to get married yeah. anytime soon. That's a waste of money. I'm never going to get it back. It's, from now on, anybody that invites me to a wedding, it's a donation. <laughs> I'm not going to get it back. So I'm not going to give you a boost. But I did bring a little something because, you know what? I was raised to be a little respectful when someone gets married, whatever, to bring a little something. So I got a little something for you. Now, don't get nervous, all right? Uh, I found ooh, it for you here. This is great. It's not a wooden spoon. Hey, uh, is it back it's a wooden fork, you know? And I want you to remember this <laughs> from Joe Gambino to you. I want you to save this. 20 years from now, I want you to still have this gift from me, you know? All right. Now, you could make different things. You could cook with it's it. spaghetti, you can, right? You can cook when you have the kid. You give him a crack in the ass when he's out of line. You know, this is what it's for. My gift to you. You're the best. You know? This is the, the, the fork from Joe Gambino. Treasure, you know? I what appreciate you, what it. What do you appreciate. make with that, Joe? I want to make anything with that. What do you advise me to do too. with this? What's the number one thing I could do with this? With that? Well, listen, I was trying to find a wooden spoon, but like I said, I, I, I cracked every wooden spoon I had, so I found a wooden fork. You could do a lot of things. You could make spaghetti with it. You know? Not a lot of people have wooden forks. Nah, that's pretty oh. legit, I gotta be honest. I mean, the kid gets out of line, you crack him with it. Is that, is that class, Goosh? You know? that, 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 that's, that's old that's, school. That could be class. You gotta sign it, school. though, I think. I'm gonna sign, I'll, I'll yeah. sign but it. But only certain it. macaronis you could use that with. Certain, certain ones. Listen, I'm not, I'm not a food expert like you guys, okay? <laughs> it might look like it, but I'm not, you know? But that, I think it's a special gift. Because it, I'll boost, you gotta remember it, but you're not gonna remember it. I'm you're right, you're right, you're right. I'm drinking, I'm like, oh, it was good, whatever. Unless it's a nice boost, then I won't forget. Unless it's a nice boost, yeah. Well, listen. That you're going to treasure. That you're going to have forever. You know? Listen, we, me and Rock have been talking a long time, and this summer we're going to try to like bring on a lot of recurring guests. So okay. what better way to have both of you on to come back on? Uh, me and Kuz has been running around all day. I don't, I don't know how he's still up. I don't know. either. coffees and uh, <laughs> homemade a dance and... I don't know. He was like, Joe Gambino's going to be I'm like, what am I going to do? Yeah, he, he, did, home? he did say it extra for you. He goes, what time is he coming? I'm like, 8.30. I, I appreciate that. Well, I appreciate you, have you seen Kuja's videos before? I've I'm seen curious. him. I, he's great. He's great. He has a lot more followers than the, he's doing something right because uh, <laughs> he's, he's more popular than I am. Joe, have you thought about reviewing like your favorite food spots? Because a lot of content creators are doing that. Yeah, now. Yes and yeah. no. I mean, I'm not, I mean, everybody else is doing it. Someone just follow everybody else. I want to be a little bit more original. You know, but that's, that's an idea. So how's the content going for you lately? Which content? Uh, the TikTok content. You know, in the car, the in, videos doing? in the Kia. Oh, now you're breaking my balls now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, saw the I, Kia tried, the I tried to step out of the fucking car. So you guys don't always see me making videos in the car. I stepped outside the car. I actually had a background of a forest. You know, <laughs> the, the, that video, I don't know if you guys remember that video. The guy says, I really don't like you, Joe, but I only follow you because I want to learn the Italian language. I, I didn't know that, you know, I look like Rosetta Stone to the fucking guy. <laughs> so I made a video about that, you know, in the background with the trees and stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But I, I try to do different things. I'm coming along. I'm learning. I'm learning as I go. 
Yeah. Joe, can you explain why like one hand is like very tan and one hand's like not so tan? Absolutely. Well, you know, I have like a, you obviously you know what kind of car I drive. I got the panoramic roof, but usually I always <laughs> have my hand out the window. <laughs> so this hand is always darker than this hand because this one's always catching the sun. You know, I'm driving all day long, so that's what happens. Where's the other hand in the no, the other hand's drive. How the hell fucking drive? It's on the steering wheel. What is it, Pajon? You know? I don't drive. I don't, know. I don't know. Your third leg, Gucci. No, I I drive with, listen, don't, don't be funny over here. <laughs> I drive with this hand, and this hand's usually outside the window. That's why it's darker than the other. That's a nice pinky ring. Thank you. That's beautiful. Yeah, rings fit but you, that's, that's different than the one that, la- that was your yeah, last time. Yeah, I switched it up. Well, this one I always wear is the evil eye to keep all the bad people away. It doesn't really work. Folks, I don't know over here. Is, is that's why Gucci's here, though, so, you know. Well, he's not evil. <laughs> no, fucking around. <laughs> do you when you if you take off those rings, do you have like tan lines? I do. You want to see? Yeah. Okay. What size ring are you, Joe? Oh my god! Oh, I'm, a, I'm a 13 oh, ring that's finger. That's crazy. Oh, I'm a 13 shit. ring figure. I'm a I'm a, 12, I'm a nine pinky. No, I'm, a, I'm sorry. I'm an 11 pinky and 13 ring finger. That's big. Only because I know, like, you know. Well, I'm like a, I'm, I'm like a seven and a half. Seven and no, a half. No, she's like a five and a half. Five and a half. Yeah. None of my rings will fit you then. Yeah, you know what they say about big maybe ring. Maybe it'll fit it somewhere else though. Maybe, but well, maybe <laughs> go pull me, you know. <laughs> well, what you guys do behind closed doors is your business. <laughs> Are you excited for summer, Joe? I, I love yeah, the summer. I, sure. What do you got planned uh, this summer? Well, I, don't I, I usually go on the weekends to my cousin's pool. We hang out. You know, nothing crazy. Local stuff. I really don't go anywhere. Joe lays low. I like that. You know, my Kuj is over here. He's over there. You guys are all over the fucking place. You're taking videos in the. I saw you guys down in Miami in Versace's restaurant over there. I can't keep up when with you When do you want to go? You want, you want to take me to Versace's oh, yeah. restaurant? There we go, there. Let's go. When do you want to go? The head chef's a uh, good friend. Really? I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are all over the place. Joe, let me ask you. If us four went out to dinner yeah. one night, right? Let's go. The tab comes out. But I invited you guys. All right. Do I pick it up or do I say, all right, you got the chicken, chicken milanese, you got the steak. What, you want to get four separate checks? <laughs> what, 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 uh, what, 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 who pays the bill? Is who pays the bill? If, if it's a business me, if Joe, if Rocco said to you, Joe, come out, you want to talk about some business, you know? Technically, the person that invites the person, yes. not picks up the check. But if you want me to, if you guys are trying to insinuate you want me to pick up the check, I'll pick up the check. Let's All go. Right. Yeah, no, but what, what would you, what would you do if I invite you out and I'm like, oh. Or not, not Rocco, but let's say a group of your friends and there's one friend that initiates the whole dinner. Shouldn't they? She's the, he's the one or she's the one that, yeah. You don't think I'm it should be a person with the most? All. Yeah, that's, yeah cool. that's it. Well, I mean, listen, it depends who. I, I, you're right, you're right. If, if, I, if I went to dinner with, let's say, I don't know, uh, someone had a lot of money and, you know, I, I would expect them to pay for it. Yeah, why not? If we went to a restaurant, I would just like look at Cooge because then I look at the server and Cooge like, you really going to charge us? <laughs> <laughs> Does Friday. that work, Cooge? Uh, yeah, once in a blue moon, you know, you got a couple of things on the house. <laughs> well, you could do something yeah. else. It's, it's a little, little far-fetched, a little crazy, but sometimes it works. What you do is you go to a nice place, right? Even like a lounge or a bar. And you start trouble. Like, you know, you take a, a glass of ice, throw it behind you, hit the, the guy next to you, start, start some ruckus, right? So then the major D doesn't want no commotion in his restaurant. No, no, please, please, don't come over. You grab the major D. So you want this every Saturday night? Pick up the bill yourself and give him the check, and they'll pay, they'll pay the bill. Jesus it worked, Christ. You're speaking on personal yeah. experience? Yeah. So. <laughs> I heard stories. Not that I did it personally, but I heard stories. <laughs> It works. Uh, the guy told me it works. Stories. I got it. What about, uh, let me ask both of you guys. Ask away. Actually, all three of you. If you go out to eat with a group of guys and it's like not understood who invites like a group thing, like if we were like, oh, you want to go eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We figure out, okay, we'll go eat. What do you do if somebody's like, oh, but I didn't have an appetizer. Uh, oh, no, I had God. one. And never invite them back. again. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's just cringy shit. I mean, you yeah, can't that's, be that's, doing that's, that. That's, that's, little that's, that's what we call more to the farm. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. that's yeah. it. You don't call them again. No. Like people that are mathematicians, you know? Yeah, yeah oh, I only had a soda. You guys there. had a drink. I only had water. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, you're going to go out. If you're going to split the fucking check, you split it evenly. Okay? Like me and Kuz went out, right? He looks like he could have a, a slice of pizza. I could have about four slices. We're going to split the check. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's the way it works. That's why Kuz doesn't go out to eat with anybody. <laughs> some lose most. You know? That's, that's the way But you know, I know some people that even if they don't eat, they'll still chip in. Like, no, no, I sat yeah, at it's class. It's class. That's, that's cool. It's called class. It's called class. You know, um, have you ever so seen Kuz's class. videos before? I did. I did. What, I do like you think, what do you think about him? I think he's great. Oh, salute. Thank you. What are some of your, like, uh, favorite, you know... Catchphrases of his. Well, you got a few. 
I can't remember off the top of my head, but the, I, I like when he goes into the pizzerias and the, you know, the ex is about to the slice. The, at the end, me, yeah, I like, I like that. Yeah, the brush your head, cool. the whole nine. Yeah. That's, that's his, like, you know, phrase. I like that. You know what we did before with me and Kuj and uh, there's another friend of ours, Kareem. We, he actually says he's Italian ex. You know what Italian ex is? No. So he just, you know, he might not be Italian, but he claims to be Italian. He's Italian ex. Oh, okay. What do you uh, think about people that, like, really love the culture and they, like, want to be Italian, even though if they're not? Listen, man, God bless, but, you know, you, you have to, it has to be in you. You know, you have to, it has to come natural. If it doesn't come natural, you know. What are your requirements for someone to be a real Italian? How many tracks do they got to own? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I'm a little old fashioned, you know. Obviously, I don't see you guys wearing tracksuits. No tracksuit today. Not, well, not today. It's, it's summertime. You can wear a tracksuit. It's hot out. You're wearing a full sport, blown suit. Just a sport jacket on. <laughs> but listen, track. As long as you dress with style and classy, you bring yourself to me. Joe's sharp. I was not Joe, expecting. Yeah. I was not expecting a jacket. But today. this is how I dress. I dress yeah. like this all the time. Clash. You know? Joe, if you could give advice to to Kuz right now, young stud, doing well in the social media world and right. in general in life. What would you give him? What would you tell? What would you tell him? What would be some uh, Joe Joe wisdoms? Just keep doing what you're doing, and if anybody has something to say, fuck them. Hey. Negative, you know. Always don't don't listen to the negative. I get a lot of negativity. I don't know if you guys know, I get a lot of negativity on my videos. So you know what? I don't give a fuck. I sleep like a baby at night. You know why? Because I know I'm better than them. And I got class. You're doing great. You obviously know what you're doing. Keep doing it. Right. Just keep Thank doing you. it. Who's actually, <laughs> we, we got a little rattled up today. So first time I saw him, oh, I saw him about Fangul. Yeah? yeah. yeah. You know no way. You got somebody? It happens. Fanabla. <laughs> that's true. That in there. Yeah, that's how you know you got him pissed off yeah. when, he, when he throws out that one. I hope it's you off today. We got story Who's time there? or what? Someone was like comment the negative 10 minutes. Oh, show yeah, that's right, yeah. Which I never even answered, but I don't know. Today, today you had time? Today I just had a niche. So I was like, yeah. Go oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> but in a classy way. Panabla. Relax. You gotta be classy, buddy. You gotta Eat be classy. Eat a salad, you know. Eat a salad. Eat a salad. <laughs> Joe, you like salads or no? I love salads, of course. It doesn't look like I like salads, but I do. I like salads. <laughs> Kuj, since we had Kuj on, he's been on a crazy tear. So, Kuj, let me ask you, from when we sat to now, I feel like your life's been turned upside down. Yeah. You're on absolute fire. How, how are you taking all of this? Uh, you know, it's it's a whirlwind. I don't know how I'm taking it. I'm just doing it with my head up my ass. It's like all blur still hasn't hit me. I don't know if it ever hit me, but it's fun. I'm here for the ride. See where it goes. You know, Sabino's been hooking it up. Rocco's been hooking it up. So You've so, been putting in a lot of work? Yeah, you put the work in, bro. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I probably put in a solid 30 minutes a week. The other time, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> But yeah, I sounds mean, like people, a sick life. Yeah, it's pretty good. You know what I mean? <laughs> you busy? Yeah, I'm busy. Meanwhile, I'm fucking twiddling my thumbs. But you know, it's nice. Hey, but it's working for you, right? It's, it's working. For you, right? you know, I don't like to stress myself out. You know, stress is a thirty-two one minutes killer. of work a day is just. Pff, I start growing gray hairs. <laughs> no, but he's, he's underplaying. It's more than thirty minutes. Yeah, thirty-two. He's, he's, I seen it on the phone before. It looked like he was taking uh, taking numbers. He yeah, was like fucking phone calls out the ass. Like Crazy. Everyone wants a piece. <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of the, of the Kush. No, but I will say this about you, Kush. I don't think you've changed one bit. From the first uh, time we yeah. met you till now, nah, you haven't change. changed one bit. Nah, this guy can't. This guy still calls me. What's up, Rock? How you doing? Da, da, da. I was like, me. This guy, I was like, wow, this guy you know, still thinks about me. Yeah, of course. You kidding me? It's so, a lot of different stories. <laughs> another funny thing that happened today was, um, I mean, maybe we could have... Uh, it's a possibility... But, you know, we have a Scopa tournament coming up. So I heard. I asked, <laughs> you did, this is what we're going to get into. I heard. So, Joe, before we get all crazy, you know, Kuj didn't know about Scopa, so we, he actually was practicing like two hours today. So he's starting to get his uh, feet wet. Right. But, um, I mean, I, I heard you're a really good Scopa player yourself. A good Scopa player? Let me tell you something about Scopa. Right? I've been playing that game since I was three years old. Three years old. And I played with the best. The best. There's no way. I listen, I'm not a cocky person. Like, you know, but if you have a niche with something, you're really good at something, you're going you're gonna to say you're good at it. I'm good at playing cards. And that game, 
Bring it on. Is the easiest, like, Italian card game to play, right? What I would say... Uh, well, Riscola's a little harder. It's much harder, yes. Of course, it's, it's, different. it's a different game. I, I feel like Scopa's, like, for kids. Like, I never thought of, of Scopa well, as competitive. I would say Scopa... Like, Scopa tournament. Like, yeah. Riscola is the competitive one. It is, yeah. Scopa's more for fun, like, non to play Scopa. Right, but also, with Scopa, you have to understand, you have 40 cards. Mm-hmm. You got to remember yeah. 40 cards. You remember 40 cards and what was dealt, what was not? So that's that's why you're good at it, because you're paying attention to every card handed out. That's, that is why I'm good at it. And someone also made that comment. Oh, you're only playing with 40 cards. Of course you can remember 40 cards. Try playing a game like Squala Coranda or 52. I don't know if you guys know right, that. Right, right. I'm going to explain that game to you. It's a, it's a form of gin. You play with two decks. You dealt 15 cards. In 52, you dealt 15 cards. In Squala Coranda, you dealt 13 cards. You got you to gotta remember now what's thrown out, what's not thrown out. And I'm good at that game. All right, so the guy that told me, oh, you're only good at score because there's 40 cards. Let's play 52 or Shkola Garand. I'll kick your fucking ass there, too. Joe, Joe can we business. get a little sneak peek on who your teammate would be? That's what I was just going to say. Do you <laughs> have no. a teammate right now? or You guys actually know him. He's not too far away from down here. Uh, he reached out to me. He says, you know, let's, 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 let's do this. Uh, uh, Fortunatos. Oh, oh Roger, hey, Roger he's going to the sauce, huh? Yeah, okay. Roger hit me up says, listen, let's do this. Another guy from Astoria, I don't know if you guys know him. Uh, he's, an, he's kind of my age. He, he called me up, hit me up. He wants to join a team. And there's a few other characters. Tell them they're going to be your opponents, yeah. though, if they're going to play. But who are, who's playing this game, anyway? Like, what's, what's well, the age group? I mean, you have, like, from... It's like, it's like basically... Anybody of legal age. Anyone over 18? Yeah, anyone anyway, over 18. No. Okay. But well, it's mostly, like, you know... Younger generation, all oh, oh, generation. Yeah. A, last year, a young team won. They're yeah. like 23, yeah. 24. Yeah. yeah. They won. Well, they Google the app and learn no, how to play on the no, app. No, they're, they're good. They're, 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 they're Chinese. They're, they're like first generation like like us. Oh, okay. But um, the thing that a lot of people got mad about is that they were talking to each other in, in I Italian. was just going to say that. Would you allow that? Because we, we need like a set rules so for people to follow. If somebody's speaking a different language at the table, is Italian. that a big deal? But it's Italian. But it's an Italian game. I mean, you know... It, Listen, you had an advantage. You could speak Italian. And, uh, yeah, I don't speak a lick. So uh, you don't speak a lick. All right. So see, so yeah, he, he someone like him, you have to respect. Say? No, 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 no Italian. The same language. No, but it has to be a rule for all. You know what a I mean? Rule for all. Yeah, like I say, he doesn't understand Italian. Doesn't speak Italian. You gotta respect. You gotta speak that. speak English. You gotta speak English. Now, Kush, do you have it? Are you are you participating in this tournament or? Yeah, I, I got some one? lineup. Me? Can I say who I'm? Yeah. Oh, all right. Here we go. Me and Mo. Oh Take my! That's our celebrity team Are this you year. Me? You <laughs> can't. Last time we had Rodia and Sal the Voice, yeah. they got they got. I think they made Final Four, yeah. and then they got chopped. I mean, so they lost to those kids, no? Then they lose. Yeah, to... they lost to the championship team. Now, how's this work? This is teams. We're playing with teams. Yeah, it's like a bracket. Yeah, te- it's a bracket. Oh, we're playing with teams. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's teams of four, game eleven, right? Is that what we did? Teams of two. So team you're two on well, two. Yeah, so it's four, four, four people total. Okay. And last time we had like 32 teams. Yeah. So and we'll see how many we get. We're trying it's to... It's like one knockout. 11 knocked out. You lose, you're out. That's it. You lose, you're out. Yeah, okay. It's five you're on, teams teams you're on the same team. I don't know so if we're going to participate right. this year because we might need judges. But oh, okay. if we have judges, then me and Rock are we'll probably on a team. We we'll got to... knocked out first round last time. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. So we were basically judges. Last, last yeah. year. Well, if you got locked out the first round last year, you got knocked out? What happened was I was all jerked up. We were winning like 5 nothing. I'm getting up. Who wants a drink? You want a drink? Oh, I'm see, getting drinks. Drink fucked up right the second there. we came back, we lost yeah, 11 points do, in a you, row. You don't do stuff like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, Especially really, playing cards. You can't well. be distracted. Yeah. So, so listen, ahead. we're with a food expert, okay? I see that. But he might have missed a place or two in Queens and Brooklyn. Is there any places you want to recommend him or maybe, you know, some place you would take him to, to wow him? My cousin's pizzeria, Dino's Pizzeria. Where is that? It's on 30th Street and Broadway. In Astoria? In Astoria. Who's you ever been in Astoria? I don't even know where that is. It's in Queens. Queens. Class. Well, yes. You want to been about to Queens. Queens like twice. Go to 30th Street and Broadway. It's called Dino's Pizzeria. I thought you were going to take us. You want me to take you there? Yeah, 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 I'll yeah. take you there. We're well, going to ride in the Kia, no? Yeah. Sunroof <laughs> down. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. We'll go. Have yeah. you ever been to Stan Italy? Do you go to Stan Italy? Sta- oh, you mean Staten Island? Yeah. The only thing I know about Staten Island is Capadano Boulevard and... Uh, Father Capadano? Yeah, then... Um, you can tell you had a gumad over there, huh? <laughs> good guy, good guy. And uh, I usually cross there to go to Jersey, to go to Atlantic City. I always yeah, take yeah. Staten Island. I can't right. stay going to it. I'm going to cut you all off. Now that we're talking about Staten Island yeah. or Staten Italy, right? Staten this is a perfect, perfect segue into the next segment. But I only want the people from the area to say how they feel about it. 
All right. So overrated, underrated, or perfectly rated. We're going to start with Staten Island, Kush. Jesus Christ. You're going to put me on the spot. I don't want to get tortured while I'm over there. So we're going to do... Well, a lot of people shit on Staten Island. So I already got the advantage there. So I can say underrated. Just a way to, you know, bring it up a notch or two. We do got some good pizzerias, some good bagel spots, some good delis. We got good food. Other than that, I don't know. They say we're little borough parks. I don't even know what the fuck that means. But, yeah, it's, it is what it is. You know, we throw is. our trash over there. Yeah, but, you, you know. know. It hasn't been there since 20, 2001, 2001. Yeah, we're right, good. Right. We're good. Now I just live there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, you know, it's coming your way, my friend. Brooklyn. Perfectly rated. Brooklyn's seen around the world. Anywhere you go, people know Brooklyn. You could go to Saudi Arabia, Africa, anywhere in the world, people know where Brooklyn is. Brooklyn's best pizza, Brooklyn, Brooklyn pizza, pizza, Brooklyn bagels, right? All over the yeah, all over the world. Though. Everybody wants to, wants the Brooklyn. I mean, no bias because I'm from Brooklyn too. From Brooklyn but too, so. I'm aware where you guys are from. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Just so the people know. All right, Joey, coming your way, Queens. Queens. What part of Queens? Oh, you want me to Queen, talk about Queens the as a borough. borough? Queens as a borough, definitely, definitely underrated. Why? Because Queens is a melting pot. You know, you have, uh, for example, where I'm from, Astoria. You say Astoria goes, oh, you live where a bunch of Greeks live. Listen, there are a lot of Greeks in Astoria, but there's also a lot of Italians and a lot of Italian restaurants, a lot of Italian pizzerias. All right, a lot of old school Italian restaurants and pizzerias. So I would say Astoria is definitely underrated. You went to, you know, Howard Beach for the chickies back in the day? No, no. I, I just never, never hung out on Howard Beach. Where were the best place to get, uh, you know, where were the best girls from in your, like, growing up? Oh, Bayside. Bayside? Bayside, Freddie Lou. Rocco's going to love that you know, one. Listen, That's because he, he, he went to prep. Went so to prep. You saw the girls that went to prep, you know? I don't try and get me in trouble over here. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, married yeah. men now. Yeah. I'm talking about many years ago when he was in high school. Not now. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go into the other two boroughs. Might as well at this point. Go ahead. Manhattan. Whoever wants to go, go ahead. Uh, oh, Manhattan is Manhattan. I mean, Little Italy, the original, you know? I mean, Manhattan's New York City. When people say they want to see New York City, you go to Manhattan. Give me a rating. Say uh, perfectly, perfectly rated. rated. Yeah, perfectly it's got to be perfectly rated. Perfectly I hate rated. going there because you can't park. Yeah, you can't oh, park. Yeah. You can't drive. But when people come into town to see you, like family from Italy, or, you know, oh, they want to see. First thing you think is Manhattan. Manhattan, yeah, yeah. of course. All right. It's a skyline. Lastly, the Bronx. I would have to say perfectly rated. I work in the Bronx. Uh, there's a lot of it's old school. It's close to Astoria, too. Well, it's right over the bridge. It's right over the bridge. Like, right over the bridge. And listen, you got Arthur Avenue. You got Morris Park. There's a lot of Italians there. A lot of Italian restaurants there. Joe, school. as long as the Italians are there, you like it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, you said it. The Italians are there. The yeah, Italians yeah. are there. <laughs> We're everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Okay, we're even down south. Cleveland, Ohio. They don't pronounce it Italians. They go, oh, you're Italian? But we're everywhere. We're even in Pittsburgh, in Philadelphia. Shout out Jimmy Big Muscles. Have you Muscles. been to Pittsburgh, Joe? I've been to, um, no, I've been to Philadelphia. In fact, I went to Philadelphia one night from a story. We're at a club. Four o'clock in the morning, we decided we wanted Philly cheesesteaks. I said, I've fuck it, let's go before. to Philly. We took a run to Philly. What time did you get there, 6 a.m.? Well, we left around 4 o'clock after the club closed. We ended there around 6.30. Went to and Chino's drove back. and drove back the same night. All same. fucked up. I've done that before, but not at 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. We were nuts. Like midnight. No, no, we were nuts. I mean, Philly's not that far away. It's, it could be done. Joe Gambino. <laughs> a man of many words. Sometimes. And Cougine over here. I, I need to see a video with these two in it together. Yeah, I love I think we got we got to make it happen. Little, so make it's happen. only the problem is how do you cook in a Kia? That's my only You're you not going to cook in the goddamn Kia. We're going to go we're going to go to the place. You know what would be funny? You know? Yeah, yeah, them reviewing the food in the key. Go, hold on. You want to eat like a gentleman? Boom, panoramic sunroof. <laughs> <laughs> cool seats, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boom, boom. But, well, like, listen, since we're on the subject side. of the key, I got, I got to say this. And I don't really give a shit if it offends the, the higher ups. Of the, I, I'm really disappointed in Kia in general. Not because of the car. The car I have is beautiful. It's a great ride, like I said. I have the newer version. It's all beautiful. But you know what? I didn't get one fucking recommendation. I didn't see one fucking dollar from. Kia. What should he say about DCs then? Oh, they don't. They don't give. They don't give. Out I mean, money. not even like a. All right, he, yeah, he's, he's a free fucking oil change, or for you, or whatever, something. like a free diet coke it, or it's, something. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. So you know what? 
I'm going to I'm going to hype it down a little bit with the Kia, you know? Minus 2 Marons. Minus, Minus 2, two Marons, what he said. <laughs> Joe, what was everyone's reaction from you being on the pod because we got so many comments. Oh. Your clip went crazy. It did. A lot of people of course they liked it. A lot of people said the microphone was in my face. You couldn't see my face. <laughs> so you see we 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 fixed yeah, it up. fixed that up, yeah. But a lot now of he's people said hold I was it. nervous, you know. A lot of people didn't like when Rocco called me a rat. It was a joke. I gave him that look, you know. I love Rocco. Look, I gave him the fork. I gave him the wooden fork. That means... Yeah, this is special to me. That means Rocco's one of me. This know? is special to me. I know what I'm going to do with this that. tonight. You bring it home and show your wife, too. Yeah, she's going to love it. Yeah. Look, look what Joey got. This, this fork might actually be about 14 years old, but it's all right. I would say pretty... It's pretty it's like old dust than that. It's probably, old, probably older that than mold? that. You'll get him sick. <laughs> Well, I don't got want to get you brand new one. It's bad luck. Got a little pixie dust on here. We'll be all right, though. I'll maybe Kuju use it in his next video. Yeah, maybe. Can I gift a gift or no? I mean, what's it like? Let him, you let him borrow it. I don't want to, you know, shouldn't gift a gift to him. You know? <laughs> well, listen, it's yours. You do what you want with it. No, it's very thoughtful of you. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. I can't wait to make some spaghetti with this. <laughs> Twirl it up nice. And Same also, listen, I also like how you guys changed it up over here. Last time I was here, you had a, that table over there with those... Office chairs and you know look like an executive lounge. Now over here you got the couches I have like at my house and shit. I'm I'm lounging. I feel comfortable. You guys, uh, this is from all the money we made from your podcast. Probably, probably. Yeah. You know that's what a lot of friends of mine say. But Joe, did you make anything on that fucking podcast? Did they throw you anything? I love no, they, they, this is how grease balls talk. The fucking like, guy showed me how to make an Instagram, which I could have done myself. He showed me how, <laughs> how to make cameo, which I could have done myself. You know and. Uh, he, he, he told me we'll, we'll do another podcast. Six months later, here I am with no fucking money. But you know what? I'm here with a with good company, so I don't mind. Joe, how is life with Instagram now? Did it change your life? It did, actually. I, <laughs> I get everybody messaging me now because they couldn't message me on TikTok. Yo, you know? So before, when I was trying to get the pod with him, I couldn't direct message him because he got blocked for messages. Banned for life. On TikTok, he couldn't message. <laughs> not so not for a couple weeks, should... so banned for life. I don't know what the fuck I did. They just banned me for life. So now it's so, easier to communicate. Oh, with absolutely! Everybody, I, you know, I put that little box thing, the Instagram signal, on my on my TikToks, what, and everybody what, messages oh, there. Oh, the box, oh, yeah. Yeah. The box. You know what you're talking about. Right? Right? Yeah, the camera, right, camera box. Am I allowed to ask the question everybody's wondering? Ask. Yes, yes, did you want. get any girls from Instagram? You know, any women? I met a few. I met a few. Any any good ones? I said, listen, I met a few. How can I say? A few strange ones. <laughs> A few strange ones, like uh, what makes yeah, what makes one strange? Well, what's I'm gonna tell you what makes one strange. I had this girl. She did this. Uh, I'm not gonna get into names and start some shit, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you that she was had freestyle on her thing, right? She was playing music, so I, I went on her live. I saw oh, nice music, whatever. <laughs> nice right music. away, she knew who I was. She was infatuated with me. Oh, let me give you my number. She shouts her number out in the video because she couldn't message me on the TikTok thing, right? But then I says, I have Instagram. So she messaged me through Instagram. Long story short, short, I talked to this girl for about two, three hours, right? On the phone? On the phone. You know, just chatted, whatever. We bullshitted. The next thing you know, she's calling me the next day. I love you. We should get married. You're the perfect guy, this wow. and that. And I'm saying to myself. Did you show a picture of your bar or something? No, no. I, I, she, 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 no. <laughs> I was just talking to the girl. I didn't meet her. I didn't meet her. I didn't, she, she wanted to get married. So what do you do when you meet a girl and you talk to her in a couple hours on the phone and she says she wants to get married? What would you do? You get scared. That happened. You get, get scared. You get scared. You get, I wanted to change my address, my numbers. I wanted, I wanted to escape. I wanted to escape to under a rock. But she, it was kind of fucking scary. So I guess I had a bad experience when meeting some chicks on you, Instagram. You saw the Bronx Tale, right? Obviously. Obviously, yeah. So do you believe that you only get three great ones in your life? No, no, no. I, you get I, more I, than that? Sonny was wrong. Sonny was wrong. <laughs> you, get you, you get about ten. You get about ten great ones. Ten great ones? You get about ten great ones. So you had ten great ones, you think? I think I had about six. I have four left. They're so you're coming. like a cat. You're They're coming. <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> They're, coming. <laughs> They're coming. They're coming. I got four left. Three is too short. Yeah. And, and what he said, I use mine up all three at 16. What's, what's, what's the point of living from them? From, you know, yeah. you yeah. use all your great ones. You get ten. I'm 40 years old. I had six already. Four to come. How many do you what? have? Me, great ones? Say two or three. Two or three? Yeah. You got about eight. Two and a half. Because you know the question's coming to you now. Yeah. How many? Oh, he's still. Many great ones. Zilch. 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 You got another 10 in your way. Hey. 
bro. They're coming. They're coming, cuz. Don't worry. keeps it low key because girls throw it at him and he's like, Awesome. He has great willpower. Settle down. Right. Oh, settle, settle down. Relax. I like, I like those things. They're cute. <laughs> but uh, what would be the perfect woman for you guys? Like, if you had to describe her? Two young, you know, two bachelors. Yeah, two yeah. The hottest Italian American. I mean, uh, Kuz looking for love? <laughs> is Kuz looking the, for love? The Kuz Lorette over there. See that, hon? The Kuz Lorette. The Kuz And I guess, you know, has, you know, comes from money and works. And then I could just relax and, you know. <laughs> Imagine Kuz as a take, soccer dad. Yeah, I, I, before this, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, hon, you go to work, do what you got to do. I'll go uh, walk the dog, you know, and, uh, you know, cook the kids dinner. Let's Take a go. TikTok or two. Yeah, let's go, kids. We got practice. Tony! What do you want to do? <laughs> They're great out there, kid. Good idea. Meanwhile, uh... What would be like, a, you know, if there was a woman that would steal your heart, how would you... <laughs> if there's a woman that steal your pursuit, uh, what would, what would you know, explain her? Oh, God. Like, personality-wise? Yeah. Someone who's got a yacket on, you know, looks. Yeah. How many mud on she got? How many mud on? Well, she can't be like a 12 mud on. I don't want every guy just like, you don't. <laughs> so, you know, they got to be classy, you know, which few and far between. What about if she had a brother and that made her a sister? Would that have to leave her out of it? Say sister? that again. If she was a sister. If she was a sister, you know? I mean, was well, sister, sister. yeah, I mean, pff, that's the brother's problem. <laughs> As your sister, every time I yeah, saw exactly. her. Exactly. As your sister. Yeah, would you, would you be night. like that with your brother in law? Like, I was with your sister yeah, last night. Sister. <laughs> I mean, it's bound to happen. What am I going to do now? I think the, the brother would want him to say that. Yeah. Like, 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 how's just, my sister? Yeah. <laughs> she needs a piece of work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, your, your turn. What, what, explain the perfect woman. Perfect woman. For me? Yeah. One that doesn't break balls, like he said. How many nights a week are you playing cards, Joe? Well, I, I play, I play, I play a lot. <laughs> but if I was married or whatever, I wouldn't play as much, you know? I, like I, three, I'm, four days? Half little, and half? A little bit more, a little bit more. Five? <laughs> right, now, right now, I'm missing a fucking game because I'm over here. <laughs> but, uh, Full-time player. <laughs> probably saving you a couple of hours, though, hopefully. Well, listen, you know, if I had the, perf- the perfect girl would be like that, you know, I'd be home, raise a family, you know, make sure I'm taken care of. If she takes care of me, I take care. Is taking care of in like one way, like <laughs> no, I mean taking care of a household. <laughs> like, perfect girl with me to raise a household. That's the perfect girl. For me. Rock, your perfect girl's Taylor. Yeah, that's, he's that's married it. already. He, no, he I got the one. She better be perfect. I got the one. And what's your story? What are you waiting for? And what are you? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I yeah. think the perfect the perfect woman is someone that like brings the best out of you. So I someone that understands what you got going on. I agree. Yeah, so supportive. You know? Yeah. I agree. Listen, guys, maybe we'll do another pod looking for love with Joe and Kush. <laughs> but uh, I hope yeah. everybody enjoys their summers. Yes, have a great you know? summer, guys. We had to bring these two guys back. Thanks for coming on, fellas. We appreciate it. Maybe I'll see you around Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> well, another holiday. You know? <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>